Are you ready? Yeah. My friends, are you ready to thrive? Yeah. God bless you. Let's get started. It's great to be with you here today. Now, this is my first Good News Wednesday segment since convention. And what I saw in Salt Lake City was a group of people, actually a company, that is thriving. And it's great to be part of it. And this segment here is a wonderful chance to say a few things about the various moments at convention. Starting with the black tie dinner. I saw camaraderie and leadership and most of all generosity of people who know what it means to live well. It takes balance to thrive and we've got just that. The silent auction alone at our black tie dinner paid for one third of an upcoming Operation Smile mission to Thailand. And by the way, I'm looking forward to Heliskeen with Sharon and Kristen Sharif. Technically that's who bought my founder package. Thank you for paying top dollar. I think in reality this may be a gift for Tim. So Tim, get ready to make some turns when the snow flies. To our great many speakers, I say thank you. I very much enjoy hearing your words and your perspective from the stage. And boy, do we have some talented presenters in the world of Zango. This year was no exception. 100K Mary Spalstra from Michigan is an industry veteran, and she energized the Salt Palace with her main stage remarks. Now people are still talking about her presentation. And the cover family of our Thrive edition of Go Magazine, Eric and Heidi Welch, continue to amaze everyone with their story and their relationship. Throughout Zango 09, who could miss Zango Mexico? They were large and in charge and very energetic and proud. And they could never be better represented than when Jorge Arzamende and Liz Salinas took the stage. Chris Gardner, the real life inspiration for the movie Pursuit of Happiness, served up a heartfelt keynote address at the end of session one about the power of persistence. Now, if there's a better example of trial over adversity, I can't think of one. Our convention also saw major product announcements, like our gentle, safe family care line, Juni. Now, be sure to surf around Zango.com for all the details. The Zango office tours were a big hit this year. We had the largest number of people ever in company history come through our offices on tours. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank some of the folks who left some wonderful gifts here in my office. Somebody even baked me cookies, chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, and someone gave me mangosteen chocolates from Belgium in the shape of a mangosteen. So thank you very much. This year's event saw the highest percentage of international attendees of any year to date. So thank you for coming all the way to Salt Lake City. We also announced the much anticipated market opening of Italy. Congratulazione. There are far too many moments to mention from Convention 2009, so this is by no means a complete recap. So be sure to check out the Zangosphere for more wonderful moments. Now, Doug Weed has been a great friend for many years, and though I've been fortunate to see him speak many times, at the close of Saturday, he was absolutely astonishing. Now, before I go, what kind of fan would I be if I didn't mention the dream after party we threw at Rio Tinto Stadium? You can plan many things, but you can't plan an event like that. Real Salt Lake's whole season boiled down to that final regular season game, and they served up something unbelievable. Winning the Rocky Mountain Cup and securing the final playoff spot in front of our Zango Nation. There are many more exciting Zango moments planned over the next few months, and I'm thrilled that our Zango Nation continues to set big goals and thrive. Best regards from all of us here at the home office, and thank you.